today we'll try to explore one more new challenge so actually i have some input in the excel file so let me open that excel file as well so this is a one of the use case so let me open the document so this is a use case so actually we have the one excel file uh, which is the format of in this one so later what we need to do now so we need to modify the, i mean segregate to this data so how we can segregate this data means we have some details so whatever the data is after modification now we need to put it in the one output sheet and here we have the some standard things are there so in the column a1 it's a static value so abc company private limited this is a standard value so it won't change so every time a1 is a standard and after that we have the b cell b3 value is there so in the b3 cell we need to update this date so this is a format of this thing date and d3 we have some data so we need to update the runtime for example if it is running right now so we need to update the runtime right now and material number transport supplies would be received from the input sheet so already we have the one input sheet now so those data we will get from the here so this is a transporter name and material and we have one more data supplier so this is a supplier so this data we are getting from the input sheet and limestone dust it's a fixed and above of the created of the new table so for example when i go to this excel file so ab enterprise this is the one data and we have the pr2 transport is another data so when you are creating this data so that uh, uh, this limestone dust internal is a fixed so every time we need to update like that and later we have one more step so now the main step is split the data into this based on the transport column so we have the column f is there so this is a column f so for example first of all i need to filter the data like this so once i filter the data after i need to get this data so this entire the data i need to copy and paste it into new sheet so it has some specific format i will show that format as well okay like this this is a format we got like this let me scroll down so as of now we have the four transporters uh, and this might be the change a uh, case to case it will change and next so as per this case we need to create the four tables for example if you get five data so we need to create five data tables six seven and so on and if the number of transports increases yeah he given the same thing so if the number of transports are increases it may be decreases according to that we need to do the development and now copy the paste and data transport wise so we need to copy and paste that data to your respect of the cells and next uh, now we have to delete the transporter name supplier name material column okay so in this excel file i have this uh, transporter name material supplier so why i want to delete now this data is getting up the upside so material transport supplier name so this data we need to update here so that's why we don't want to that extra column so that's why we need to read this data from this column this is done and later similarly we need to create for the multiple days okay so this is a final output which looks like this so just observe this abc company limited this is a standard one after here have the shift all and when you check here here also shift all so one extra line is there we need to add that extra line after that you can see the serial numbers it's came so forget about the serial numbers whatever the data is there it's come like that only and all all is there and this is the date and time runtime so we need to update the runtime as well so this is a format final format so now how we can update this like this so we'll try to uh, explore this one how we can uh, do this okay with the help of ui path so let me go to the ui path studio so let me go to there So I'm just recreated that a challenge number from the trade. So when you see this use case, it's a bit complex. Uh, if you go with VBA, it's very simple and we can do it very easily. But when it comes to the UA path, it's a, a difficult challenge how we can do that. So first of all, let me take read range activity where because we need to read that Excel file. So read range workbook. So first of all, I need to take and how the data is looks like. So we need to check that first of all. So let me close this file. I don't want to save. Let me copy and I will paste this data here itself. Or else let it go. So I put some filters. I just remove the filters here. Let me copy this path. Okay, I updated this path here. Later, I need the sheet name. 
this is the, my sheet name is input. Okay, this is done. Later, uh, I'm showing in one variable which we called Excel data table. If you want, you can keep input Excel data table. It depends upon you. And next step is I want to see how the data is getting outside. For that, I will take message box and I will set this. Step. Let me close this Excel file. If you not close, it won't work. It will throw the errors. So now I close them. It won't throw any errors. So let it wait uh, to complete uh, this run. Okay, now let me check this data. So when I check, we can see this ABC company private limited, it's take it as header Mumbai. And column one, column two, column three, column 13, so many are there. And which data which is not in the standard format. So as we requested, it's not in the standard format. So now what we need to do now, so we need to just align with that uh, format. So just we need to read this data from this A5. Okay, so A5 to till down. So let me try uh, how it looks. I will just give here A5 what it will give. Let me check. And before that, I want to do one more step here. So here my last column is U and this is a standard. I mean, whatever you are seeing this data now. So still A to U, this is the standard. Okay, let me do one more step here. So we need to read uh, activity for the two times. So for the first step, it will read. And in the second step, what it will read now? Just it will read the a5 to like that. So let me remove this data. So here what we get now. So we are getting that count. So we don't know where it's exactly it will start and ends. So that's why let me copy and paste it. And here what I will do now. So I will just create. So A5 is a standard. So every time my data it will start from the A5. So this is a standard. And here we can see these columns also are having this. So let me keep A5. And after that. A5 is to plus and my another value standard is U and here next plus Excel data table dot rows dot count dot to string. Okay, this is done. So if you want, you can change this variable. So I will make it as uh, uh, just for references. I will make it as final data table okay let me close this and we'll check how this data uh, get output so let me run this one more time so here we need to run multiple times we need to check so this is a standard user which we can do anything here so let me remove this data i not required so first it got read and let me check this excel data table dot close dot com so we got here 35 column, I mean 35 rows. So next I will update this final data Excel. So when I check, you can see this now serial number, uh, trans ID, uh, purchase. So which data we need? So that data got it. So we can check it here. Serial number, trans ID, just check. Serial number is there, trans ID is there, purchase order. So now we got this data. So it will have any some alignment. So this is done. Next step here, what we need to do now. So we need to get the unique columns at the particular column. So here my column is F. So let me check where is it say F. So here my column is this one. So from this column, we need to get only the unique values. So we'll try how we'll get the unique values. So taking one variable, assign, okay. So here I'm multiple times I, I'm opening uh, this Excel file and closing because sometimes we need to run, sometimes we need to check like this. So this is column name now. Just I will make it as here as transport. Let me open. I'll make it as transpose name data table. Okay, this is done. 
next here what i want to know i need to keep the unique default value so then it will get the uh, star, i mean unique values so here i need to update final extra detail double dot default view dot to table okay mm, why it's getting the error because we need to modify this as a data table because everything we are coming as a data table let me collapse this all okay now this is done so next step running the bot again we need to check this getting the output or not once you get the output then only we are able to run if you're not getting the output so we need to check 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 keep on checking so still if you're not subscribed to the tech channel please subscribe and if you want more topics like this post a comment or, or the group so post a message there we'll try to export the new challenges like this okay now it's got read and i will check this transport name column okay something i missed here okay so what i missed now i not given this uh, name default view so just uh, i updated everything there so here i need to do small change default view of uh false comma my table name is transporter name let me update this query here dot to sorry dot to dot to table maybe there's something i missed here so just i updated the wrong syntax here so that's why it's throwing this error so let me update the correct syntax and here i need to update the column name so my column name is transport name and this is a common for everyone so sometimes we are forgetting that so let it be and similar way i need to create for another two as well so another two one is for the material let me copy this material okay another one is let me check the document transporter supplier if anyway i have this output here no? so material transporter supplier name material transporter and supplier name so this is a supplier which is nothing as supplier name so let me update here supplier name so i updated all the things so let me try to run and i'm closing this excel file So just it reads the data and transporter name dot to Excel data table. Okay, here we need to keep the final data table because we just modified the data now. Let me remove this and I will make it as final data table. And I need to do for all the things. Let it me do. Final data table and one more you stay. Final data table. So now this is done. Let me run quickly and we'll see how it works. So first of all, we need to segregate the input data, how you are getting and how you are modifying. If you're done with that, then next steps are a bit uh, easy. Let me check transport okay i keep all the transport data table okay anyway uh, it's working fine so we have got this data okay here one thing we need to make sure that i will tell you that before that let me create some variables so here the problem is with this only so every time uh, we need to check this columns data these things This is for material. 
material data table and the final is suppliers so we are getting that error because we need to modify this to the table format and final one is supplier data table okay, let me open these variables and i need to modify this okay now this is done so here one more the problem is for example let me share that problem as well so when you check here transporters a b this data is there and this is related to run query so the a b transporter which is related to run query and similar way we will check for the all so is there any repeating words or uh, something is there okay j j road lines j well and run query so this run query is repeated i think so let me call so pqr transporter is a run query and ab enterprises also get the run query so now this one how we can handle with this kind of scenarios so if i get like this kind of things let me show you this so here when you check here transporter name has ab enterprise and material name is say uh, 912 triple uh, i mean 5016 for pqr transport also have the same name so this kind of cases how we can handle now so we can filter with this okay and take this value and again you go and filter with this and take this value at the same time you can pick this run uh, suppliers as well basically it won't repeat but some cases uh, it might be the repeat so if it is that case so we need to go with this some slightly uh, small uh, modifications in that code okay now let me go back to your part studio so these two things is not required then so because having some duplicates on that again so these two are not required let me remove this okay now this is done next later so what we need to do so we need to take one for each row data table for each row data table okay need to update here final data table and here it will create this new sheet with the empty okay and here the standard is at the column a1 so column a1 every time it is standard now so then we need to update right cell right cell workbook and we need to give this path so let me update this path and sheet name is output and cell value a1 this is a standard and next content so this is my content so this is standard it won't change at any point of time so this is standard now this step is done next so what we need to do so here we need to get this uh, last column here so we need to check this last column here so a2 here is a last column so at a2 cell we need to give uh, one data and a3 cell run data so this is standard and i mean standard means uh right now it's came a2 i mean the value is standard shift is the standard it won't change the some other data so shift is a standard so here we need to take this one more cell one second so before that we need to retrain the activity again now so we need to read because we need to get this count else we don't know that count uh or else we have another way uh <clears throat> When you are filtering this data now that time you will get that count and we can add increment of that so that is the uh, big uh, case sense too so that's why what i am doing now so i will just read this data so once i read this data i will get to know let me check this one first of all let me check this so every time we need to read range uh, and get this count so let me take this and here my in this is not input this is output 
and this is not quite this data. And I will make this as temp. Temp data table. So just this is for checking the count, that's it. Apart from nothing doing. So let me run till here. So let me check whether it's updated or not. We can check. Let me go to this and I'm opening this table. Okay, it's created and we can see this ABC company private limited. Let me go back to here and I want to check this table. Okay, it is an open status now. It won't uh, read the data. Just I'm retrying. Okay, it's not retried or Okay, it's not able to read that. Let me stop and uh, if now I'm just checking this temp dot rows dot com. So we got this is zero. So zero means which is that it will take it as a headers, I think so. and here couple of the things we need to modify it then the next step is we need to update this uh, value at a2 okay then let me take this right uh, cell workbook okay and the same thing here the value will be changed so value is shift let me copy and update the shift it should be a2 later i will change this one let me wait as of now let it be a2 I will change one by one. First of all, we need to grab this data now. So this is for A3. A3, we can take this at A3. So we can go with other, uh, I mean, another ways also, but as of I am going this normal method. Let me update here A3. And next A4. Just copy and paste. This for the A4. Okay, next we need to update here B. Let me check our requirement as well, how it looks. So because we have some uh, couple of the things are there. So shift all A to shift, A to shift and B2 should be the all. Let me take this and I will update here B2. Here every time we need to keep this increment and we'll get so B2 done next A3. A3 is run data and A4 is the from data. A3 and A4 should be the from data. From data. So next at B B3. So B3 having some different uh, name. Okay, let me go with uh, line by line. Uh, like uh, A2, B2 will go like this so because we are having some other data now. So we'll go like this A2, B2, E2. A2, B2. Let me take this E2. Okay, this is for material. done i will update here will just log uh, messages just for uh, initial purpose uh, because uh, to avoid the confusions updated a2 column i think then this for the pro to complete so after we'll we'll get forget now. So that's why I will make it done like that. And next A3. So A3 is the run data, it's fine. And next B3. So B3 having the some date. So B3, this should be the 
v3 and here i will get the some date now so i will make it as now dot two and it will give this today's date that's it and next uh, c3 c3 let me update here c3 okay one second i did one mistake this is what b3 only we yeah, sometimes we will get confusion like this only because uh, the use case is which bit difficult and next c3 at c3 cell what we need to update run time let me update this and time this is also done next at d3 so d3 what it will asking it's asking with time just d3 so i will go here now dot to string okay just i will make it as split of now dot to string come up blank so it will give that thing dot to string so just it will split that date and time so it updated the time here i need to update one more thing of zero because uh, it came for zero now now we updated this as well next step is transporter so let me update at column e3 so e3 this is for transporter let me update trans p o r t yeah, transporter okay and we need to update here if this is an enterprise let me take it here and i will update later i will update this data this is f3 what data it's having transporter transporter data so this thing how we are getting now uh, once you filter the data from that data we can get it okay and next um, this is g so g3 also it's standard copy and paste here g3 and here data is uh, limestone dust internal so let me update here line stone dust internal dust internal so this is 10 okay so what i will do now i will just put the sequence wise so let me update this uh, sequence wise i will take one sequence and i will put it here so this is for updating column a2 and here i will update data for row 2 so this is a2 b2 here i have this a2 b2 and e2 let me update this e2 and i will copy one more thing this is called material name later i will update this original data okay what i did now so just i am splitting this segregate sense so a2 b2 after that e2 after that f2 these are having the one standard data so that's why i take like this updating the row of q and next i will take one more sequence now this log file is not required so i am removing that log file and just i will update update data row 3 okay next time it will came to not with the row 3 it might be some other row so we don't know we need to find that as well so as of now let it be so next runtime run data we need to put it here so a3 b3 c3 t3 and we have this d3 e3 
f3 g3 and we have one more that one will find so we have a3 b3 c3 d3 e3 f3 and we have g3 as well so we have all the things so a3 is the run data and b3 is the now dot to string it is getting a some date format and c3 is a stand date and d3 is the time just they need the time and e3 uh where is this e3 so e3 is the transporter and f3 is the transporter data so we need to still we need to modify this and next internal so this is standard so that's we will keep it as like okay this step also completed and next i am taking one more sequence the sequence updating for the row 4 update data for row 4 okay first what it will having we have this from date so just i will put this from date so from date next to date where it is to date at column c so just i will change to c this should be the to date this is also done and next we have e so e4 supplier name is there e4 supplier and this should be the e and finally we have one more column f4 so let me update this f4 and this should be the supplier name okay now just look out so all the data has been done now the next step is we need to get this data okay for that what we need to do so just take this uh, just take this uh, data and put the filters okay now i will go here i will go here first of all i will update that filters okay once we got that filters data is done next i will modify this data so here two is there now i will change all the these things let me remove this debug point and i will take this filter data table okay and here my final data table i need to configure where i want to update the filters i need to update the filters of the transporter name let me update its column and what's the value this is is equals to so we have this now current row of zero uh, where it will come exactly okay dot two string or else uh, i will just give this uh, value itself i don't know where it is come exactly so let me update this And final, I will take into this one more variable. Let me take it as filter data table. Okay. Now this is done. Just I will uh, apply the filter still here, and I will run till here. So we we'll, I need to check whether the data is getting proper in alignment or not. If you not check that, then it's a bit difficult uh, to update this data. Okay, let it run till here. Okay, and we can see this all the things row data table count. We got this zero. If it is not zero, then it, there is no data like that. Okay, next, what I am doing, I will just update the filter data table. So, just I am checking filter data table data. Filter data table. So, now we can check here the description. We have this data quantity so we, we can see this a b enterprises all the things are a b enterprises okay so this one take as an assign to one variable and next we have this same things so now we can assign like this okay for that we need to take three variables again assign let me drag and drag Okay, I got the three variables 
I need, again, I need to open this Excel file because I don't know these uh, names of the columns. The first one is transporter name. Let me update here transporter name. So if you want that data, uh, we can apply the filters. Sorry, sorry, not the filters. Already we applied the filters. We can use this link query or uh, we can uh, put the for each uh, row activity here. So I will go with one more for each row data table. Okay, this is a bit sim similar, simple. So fill the data table and I will put this inside. So the first one is transporter name. So this should be in the string and later I will go inside current row of zero zero means in this one dot two string this data is bad and next next is the material so let me take this material and i will update here material variable and i will go inside here print row of material dot two string this is also done and next the final one material name which is related to the supplier so take this supplier and create the variable with the name of supplier and go here current row of supplier or to string okay and this thing should be applied this scope so just i am modifying the scope for all and the variable type is just as it is sequence okay now everything is done this part next step is we need to update here so this is for material name just i mean need to take material that's it we can go and check in, uh, in here so we can see this material at f f2 we can see f2 and similar way here this is transport data just update this transporter name at column f3 so we can see this transporter name this is the a b done next supplier so supplier it's at all f4 so we can see this this is f4 it should be supplier so till here this is done let me close this the next step is we want to increment now it's, it's getting increment increment incrementing like this for that what we need to do now let me go on the top. Uh, this is let it be. Let me go a little bit up. Okay. So when you go with UI path, our index starts from the zero. And when you go with the uh, Excel side, index will start from the one. Okay. Now the problem is we need to update the column two. So here A2 is there. So just take one variable. Let me take this one variable as an variable. Let me keep it here and I will take this as tempo counter. And this should be the integer. So temp counter sequence and this should be the integer okay this is um, what we need to do so we need to take final excel data table dot rows dot dot count done this i will put in the top side because from the table only we are getting this count next we need to increment now so we need to put increment here so let me put it here temp counter plus two and and next i need to go to here and remove this rate two value and make this as temp counter dot two string 
you mark you may get question why you have done previous now why are doing means if you go one by one line by line or maybe the sequence then only we will get what we are doing and what is the agenda of this process so if you're not going you are going directly in uh, different different ways it won't get understand so that's why i'm going one by one so let me remove this and make it as m counter dot to string so let me copy and i have did the same thing for all and i need to change for this as well and next so most uh, we have the multiple values so let me do for all so a column a is done i mean column two and next here the next problem here the next problem will start so this is for a2 and next we got this three just copy this and paste down here and increment this by one already we have the two so two plus one equals to three okay this is done i need to take this to be the p3 plus dot two string I know it's a bit difficult and tricky process, but try to do from your end as well. It's a good practice case. So real time, most of the times uh, the client will come like this only. So they won't come do this Excel activities, do that Excel activities. They won't come like this. They will come with uh, complex only. So we need to find out the simple solutions for this. Maybe we have some other methods as well but uh, which i feel this is a simple method so or else we can do what now so we can just take this all into one data table and we can push the data table there but uh, this is a bit uh, faster and easy and next step is copy this and increment the one already it's by incrementing by one and inside i need to update this four plus uh, Tempo counter or two step. Let me copy this entry. It's a bit difficult to paste for everyone. Okay, now all the steps has been done and, and we'll run the bot till this. So whether it is working fine or not, we need to check now. So let me go this use case and I'm deleting this uh, data. So let me delete this output. Done. Okay, let me run this. And we'll see how it's placed. okay this is done next so transporter we got this names so if you want we can check this transporter name so we got this ab transporter and material and the final is supplier okay why we got supplier like this let me check Maybe the supplier data having something different. I don't know. Okay, here uh, I updated this one. Okay, let it be. Anyway, we are getting the supplier data as well. Okay, how next moving? Okay, I I forget to mention one thing here. Just uh, we need to keep one breakpoint here. So as of now, I will run as it is. So let me keep the breakpoint here. Just it will come out of that. And now we can see this. What is the temp counter? Okay, how it came temp counter 32. Okay, uh, basically, it should be the 2, but I don't know why it came 32. We need to check that. So, first of all, we need to check final Excel data table. What is this? Final data. Okay, okay. 
So we need to give this temp data table. So sometimes this might be the mismatching. So we need to check with the help of immediate window. So that's why we'll have this uh, good opportunity to work with that immediate windows. So this should be the not final. Why I make it as this temp now every time this uh, will change. Okay, this could change temp means temp. E -M -P. Done. Let me rerun this. Now it will work perfect. Okay, done. Let me run till here. Okay, forget to mention that again. Okay. We'll check that later. Now let me check what is the temp counter. I need the temp counter, that's it. Okay, again getting temp counter 33. If I it's getting temp data table dot Okay, it's got 31. Okay, why it's came 31? Let me check. Is there any data added uh, in the output? Okay, we have, okay, okay, okay. Here we got this data. So that's why it's came. Instead of this, I will remove this data. Let me run. And now I will keep this breakpoint as well let me take break if you don't want you can don't keep the break it, does, it will work no problem okay, now we've done most of the steps let me collapse and the first thing i want to check what is this reading so a1 value updating only this okay now we'll be run so now we created just i want to check this temp counter if okay i don't know every time it's getting something wrong let me check what was the issue here so I don't know every time adding some data here, but uh, I'm not put any code here. Let me check this code. So we need to go from the scratch. So reading, uh, okay, this fine. After this, applying a one cell value, writing cell value at the output a one and read that range from the output sheet that's it we are not doing anything here temp counter it came here maybe here temp data table temp data table dot post dot count okay we'll go with step by step mode then only we'll get to know what is uh, happening uh, inside so let me run step into mode so as usual it read that and we got this transport uh, transport name data table that's fine no problem no issues and after that, it's write the cell. Let me check whether it's write only at A or something else. Output sheet is created and there is no data here. And let me check. So what is the temp counter here? Okay, it's zero, correct only temp counter. You're having zero only. Okay, having some issue here only, we need to rectify that. 
let it come inside we'll observe that so first of all it came here okay it's update the filter and it's take this transport material and i make it as break okay now i need to check this temp counter still okay still temp counter is zero and next temp counter will be the two fine it uh, looks good okay now i need to update this value let me update one step is done next incremented this is also done and from date to date suppliers so this is also done so one majority part is has been completed so now let me go on check what it's having this uh, data looks like okay we got uh, how we are expecting the same way it's got so now next step so we need to update this data here so we'll try and um, update this data now after that we'll see how we can increment that data Okay, let me take. Let me stop this bot and we need to update that range now. So, for that, we need to take this right range. Okay. Right range workbook and here I will update. So, what is my path? So, let me take this is my path. Let me update the path and output. This is the out, output sheet and this starts from the A5. So just give A and plus temp counter dot to string. Done. And data table is uh, filter data table. Okay, now this step has been done. So let me run till here again. Okay, now I'm going one by one because I want to check that temp counter is uh, acting as one or something else. Let me check this again temp counter. Okay, it's came five. Why it's came five? So this is the one small issue. Uh, I don't know where uh, it's missing exactly. So the shift is coming and falling here. So why the shift is coming and falls? So there's a one issue why it's coming and falling there. So let me run till here and I want to delete that input file. Sorry, the output file. I don't know from where it's coming and falling, but I have not written any code with that shift. Let me check somewhere else where I have written the shift. Okay, I have not written the shift at anywhere. So here material material shift is there. So here it's there, but uh, uh, before I'm not writing anything now. Okay, let me run this. So temp counter is zero, that's fine. Now it's updated the filter data. And it's came out. We need to check this temp counter again. So it's two. Let me run till here again. Okay, let me go the output. Okay, we got this data, but it's not updated at the point of A5. It's updated A3 only. So because we forget to increment the data. So that's the why. Okay, 
uh, running in a debug mode. So let me run step into. I have added the increment downside as well and let it continue. So now we'll see how the output uh, will comes here. So let me continue on this. And we need to check this row temp counter having that's the issue. I don't know why it's having that issue. Okay. Temp counter. From where it's taking temp counter, I don't know. Let me check this input. But the shift I have not written anything. Let me check this A B value. It's written only like this only, but not I have not written anything that uh, one shift. Sometimes we will get this kind of issues. So we need to check delete. Let me update this and I will check this one. So output sheet column A one. Let me run till here. Okay. We take in this data and write cell read range. Let me take temp data table. We have only one column. And this is temp counter. It's zero. Let me check now again temp counter, it's two. Okay, let me go on check till how the part is completed here. Okay, as per the requirement, we are able to get uh, this data. And one more step, uh, which the step is, let me go to here. I think we need to remove some columns from here. I mean, we have to delete transporter name, supplier, material columns. Okay, we need to remove this transporter name, suppliers, and uh, material transporter name. So I need to delete this column. Let me put it into Notepad and supplier. And the final is material. Okay. We'll remove these three columns from the data table. Let me try this and finally we'll go to that uh, final part. For that, I will take uh, remove columns. Okay, remove data columns. I will make here column names. It's a string only now. Okay, then we need to take three times, I think so. Data table is uh, what is a data table? Final data table. I'm just giving a same name. We'll try whether. Uh, it will work or not. We need to check. So supply. And the final news medical. If you want, you can use uh, link virus as well. So, but uh, as of now, I'm not using any link virus. Okay, done. Let me remove this data. Only one problem I'm facing. I don't know why I'm getting that count there. So that is a one big problem. Apart from uh, all the things are done. So let we start to wait. So let me click on this continue again. Okay, some portion part. So every time I need to check this temp counter, this is a big issue here. Okay, I got this zero only. 
So let me try this. I'm not sure whether it's a bit the perfect required data or not. Let me check. Okay. Done. So we got this requirement data. So those three columns has been removed and those three data get it upside. So now the next big problem is we need to update this downside. And already starting, I said, no, forget about this rows data. So let it be, that's not a big problem, but we are getting this uh, data as per this requirement. Just I will uh, filter with AB enterprise here. So let me make it this AB enterprise and the same data it's populated here let me check how many call rows are there so it's around 10 rows and we can see this around 10 rows so this is done and the next important part is how can we can append the data downside this is the biggest part so let me go back to here whatever the we are reading this data now reading the data table so that should be keep inside of this for loop so basically what we are doing, we are out, uh, reading the data outside. Okay, just put this inside, put this inside and this should be the here. So every time the data will be changing. Let me run this final output and we'll see whether it's uh, uh, updating as the requirement or not. So as of now, I'm going with debug mode only because we need to check whether it's working or not. Let me go here. Let me click on this continue. Okay, now it's read the data. Let me check this temp counter. What is temp counter? It's zero. Fine. Nothing. There is no problem. And I'm removing these breakpoints as well here. Okay, the first step has been completed successfully. And now check this temp counter. Temp counter is five. Why? So it should be something different now. Let me check what is happening inside here. So outside sheet is done. Okay, this is also done. Why it's give us five? Okay. Let me check temp data table. Okay, okay, still it's not uh, game here, no? Sorry, my bad. Now let me check temp counter. Sorry, not this temp counter. Yes, we have this 14. And let me check inside. So we have 14, but it's got 15. Mm, 15. Okay, then fine, no problem. Anyway, we are keep plus two now there. It will done. Here uh, we are incrementing with the plus two. Let me check uh, what it will do the thing. And reopening this file again. So this is the way method so which we need to check this output whether coming or not. Yeah, now it's came. So let me close and run end to end at once. Let me remove this. And finally, we'll get the one pop-up message. It will take some time uh, to read that data. I think we have only four things now. Why it's taking this much time? Let me check current row of. I will check only temp counter we will get 160 let it run okay right cell workbook where it's came temp counter let me check this temp counter 173 
we need to check what was the issue here. Maybe it's a re repeating everything or uh, okay. The one material transport AB transporter. Okay. AB transporter. We got AB transporter, AB transporter only. But every time uh, it's uh, changing that one. No? So now we'll see uh, where the mistake has happens. Let me delete this. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. So once you've done, uh, we need to clear this data table. So that's the mistake I have did. So let me update that clear data table as well, the downside. Let me take clear data table. So which data table we need to clear? Filter data table. That's it. Now let me run. Okay, we need to. Okay, finally running. We have multiple break finds because the data is not working or not. So I'm checking now. So two, three, and four. So right range work, work using some other desktop. So this is happening because uh, already okay. I am putting in one drive now. So don't keep uh, one drives. So keep it in your local machines and run it. It will work. Okay, again issue. I think I know. So we need to check what's the issue here exactly. Basically, it loop for only 44 times, but uh, here repeating uh, more than that. Let me check what is the total found. Here we have only 35 the rows but we got to something else so we need to analyze what is uh, happening here again we need to go and get something mistake here so the code is working fine uh, there is no issue with this code but the problem is something uh, issue here so let me run till here the first step. Then we'll check uh, where uh, it's uh, modifying where it's okay, okay, okay. Uh, so here we need to give this transport uh, name data table now here. So I given the final Excel data table. So that's the issue because if I put this final uh, data table, it's not final Excel data final excel data table so it's having bunch of data when i put this transport uh, name data it's having fine so this is the issue so let me take this while applying filters or something you are doing now be careful uh, <laughs> it's a give big impact okay now this is done transport data table okay the filter on figure of transport current row of transporter name done before running i will clear this input file so let me go to here and take it so how we can find this box now so with the help of debug mode only now it should run only for the four times. Let me check this temp counter. So this is the big issue for me. Okay, it's two because we got this increment. Fine. One. And this is for the second one. Okay. Third one done. Fourth one completed. Okay, we have the only four now. Now let me go to the final. So 
if we go this is standard and these are the standard so we got this uh, material is 9126ab enterprise the port ran temporary and xyz care run and we remove this data and we have this final data so this is the way how we can uh, do this type of steps in the this is the one of the real project uh, which uh, not real the project so when you are giving the practicing so we got this kind of uh, projects so this is a one of the method how we can do this if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure to hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload